think beautiful images or otherwise rich content that, is, that does not fall into the body team. Ooh. Mendix 9.19 comes with a new marketplace experience, workflow updates, mobile logging, and more. But let's start with a brand new set of learning paths. The Academy team released eight new learning paths for commercial solution developers. These are perfect for advanced developers who want to develop adaptive solutions. To be successful, you will need a clear understanding of how to make your solutions adaptive. These learning paths will ensure success as you will go over the most common pitfalls and important considerations that need to be made throughout the development process. You can access these learning paths by going to academy.mendix.com, clicking on learning paths in the top navigation, and filtering on the commercial solution developer role. Adding custom content from the marketplace to your apps in Studio Pro is now easier than ever. We've revamped the user experience and built a new user interface so you can more easily search, filter, and find what you need. For example, there is a new filter that lets you search for platform-supported content. In the new view, the marketplace content is in the center and the search and search results will always be visible on the right side. Try it out and let us know what you think. You can now break up larger workflows into smaller processes, reuse sub-workflows in multiple locations, or import a workflow built by someone else to extend your own process. You can do this with the call workflow activity, also known as sub-workflow. Sub-workflows can have their own context entity, but you also hand over the data from the main workflow to the sub-workflow when using the same context entity. The main calling workflow will wait for the sub-workflow to complete before it continues. Many of you requested the option of using the same page for multiple task definitions. In 9.18, a task can be set as completed in Studio and Studio Pro by setting its outcome without having to identify for which task this is. Simply set the outcome and you're done. So you can now build a review task page that is used for multiple review task definitions, for example. When your app does not behave exactly as you want, you can use logging to find out what is causing the problem. Especially trace logging can be useful because it provides a lot of information about the inner workings of your app. However, if you leave trace logging on at all times, it will have a severe impact on the performance of your application, especially in a mobile setting where all logs must be transmitted from the mobile device to the cloud. That is why you can now configure your application's active log levels per environment in the Mendix cloud. This is now also possible for client log levels. Changes to a client log level require the mobile app to be online in order to become effective, so the change can take a while to be reflected in the log statements. You can read more about logging in native apps at this documentation link. Lists are the de facto standard to present data on mobile devices. Yet some data is more suited to be presented differently. Think beautiful images or otherwise rich content that does not fall into the rectangular list format. Say hello to our new gallery widget for Mendix Native. The widget lets you arrange a list of objects in multiple columns on the page. It comes with a built-in scroll view that supports horizontal and vertical scrolling. Additionally, you can specify the number of columns and page size for the built-in pagination. Just like our list widget, it performs blazingly fast on native devices, providing the best experience for your end users. And as a bonus, you're not limited to showing images. You can present any content as a gallery. Simply drag the widgets you want to use into the content area and construct your own custom user interface. This way, you can use the gallery to build versatile and unique looking apps. So why not show contacts as cards instead of the usual lists? And last but not least, the gallery also supports a live filter. You can add a text filter widget that lets users search for specific entries in the gallery. You can configure the search attributes in the widget. We look forward to seeing your new and improved image galleries. Download the new widget at marketplace.menix.com. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on menix.com blog or read the release notes on docs.menix.com. Download Studio Pro 9.19 at marketplace.menix.com to use all these new features right now. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it. And if you didn't, hit this like. Either way, we'll know if you want to see more. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.